Hi, everyone. Welcome to the Hot Mess Homeschooler podcast and video. Uh, today, we're going to be featuring my daughter, Emily. Hi. <laughs> and we're going to be talking about um, a decision that she made that is impacting her life and her diet. So in January, most people take this time to review and look at ways to become healthier and better. Um, on the last episode, we talked about word of the year and how that would guide us going forward. Um, some people make a list of resolutions or at the very least usually have ideas on ways to, um, you know, start living a healthier lifestyle. So this year, Emily decided for the month of January that she was going to go vegan, which for us, our household is very carnivorous. <laughs> In fact, I think my husband's first response was wrong house. <laughs> but um, Emily, can you tell me a little more about why you made that decision? Yeah. Um, so I watched a documentary that my friend recommended to me, and it originally kind of scared me a little bit. But then I started doing more research and I started to like like the benefits and how it's supposed to make you feel. So I decided as an experiment and a resolution, I would try it. What was the documentary that you watched? I watched What the Health on Netflix. Okay, awesome. I know several of my friends have watched that same documentary. Um, what have your experiences been so far with going vegan? How long have you been doing this? Um, I started a little bit earlier than I thought I was going to. I jumped right in almost overnight because it was just something that I wanted to start. So I've been doing it for a little bit longer, I'd say maybe just over two weeks. Okay. Um, how are you feeling so far? Um, I've been feeling good. I've noticed I feel more active, more alive even, mm. motivated, fresh, if that makes sense. Fresh, that's awesome. <laughs> um, a lot of times, um, I know one of the big concerns is um, for this is people always want to know about is, are you getting enough protein? Oh, I hate that question. <laughs> so how are you um, managing this? So at first I was concerned because when I was doing my research, I was like, what am I going to eat? I'm a very picky eater. And typically my only sources of protein are meat. And so cutting that out, I needed to find other things. So you took me grocery shopping and I found things um, like different grains, different vegetables that are good sources of protein, um, nuts and other things. And I think I've been doing a good job of incorporating those in my meals. I haven't noticed feeling like more tired or as if I've had a protein deficiency as all vegans do. Okay. Um, what other challenges have you faced in this new way of eating? I think it's been hard to keep a commitment because sometimes I think like was it even really worth it? I really want a steak right now. I think people think like, oh, once you stop eating it, that you'll like stop craving it. And I think you get there eventually, but I've only been doing it for a short amount of time. So it still is a temptation. Also, um, eating sugar, it's easy to switch out sugar with protein because obviously you're eating less calories. So you need to like eat more, but you need to eat more of the right type of foods. Mm-hmm. No, and I know sometimes, um, you know, when we get busy in our households, you know, probably like most everybody's household, um, and we kind of throw some dinner together, um, it's been kind of a, you know, unless you plan and prepare, it's been kind of sometimes difficult for you to kind of come up with. Um, like last minute dinner options are sometimes hard to whip up, but I found some good quick recipes. Awesome. Um, what benefits have you noticed? I mean, again, we, we know it's only been a couple of weeks, but what have you um, noticed so far besides feeling fresh and alive, which I think is amazing? Um, maybe just motivation to keep up the rest of my life since I've been eating healthier and trying to like exercise and be more productive in schoolwork. It's helped me like want to keep up everything that I've been doing to catch up on things that I've maybe been skipping and to just try and get everything done to be the best version of myself. I totally love that. Um, I noticed you've also been um, doing like a night routine and trying to get yourself to bed in, drinking your water. Yeah, um, what's water your favorite water? Um, I like to try cucumber lemon water. It helps me drink a lot more water. And then 
I have the, you know, that one sports water bottle that mm-hmm. I drink out of and that helps me drink a lot more water too. Right. And I, I know lemon is so good because it alkalizes the water. It makes it living water. Um, it's plus good for your skin. It is. And then the taste of the cucumber lemon is very like spa-like as like well. Fresh. <laughs> yes. Very fresh. Um, any other thoughts that you have on this that you'd like to share or on your experience? Overall, I'd say it's been pretty good, like definitely a challenge, but I've enjoyed it and I've discovered a lot of things about myself, um, what I actually like to eat, things like that. Well, I like that you've also um, challenged yourself to try, not only, you know, did you research this, you watched the documentary, you took the time to research different recipes, different foods to make sure you're balancing in your protein, um, but you're trying so many different foods that you maybe wouldn't eat on a regular basis or different types of meals, which I think is really awesome. Um, Sorry, my dogs clearly want to be in on this (laughs) as well. Um, Do you think that this will be a permanent change for you? Will you think you always wanna stay vegan or you know, what changes do you think um, it will make in your diet going forward if you decide that you would add back in meats and stuff? I honestly don't know if it's going to be permanent. I've liked what I've seen so far, but I think like since I put a deadline on it, it's easy for me to say like, oh, I only need to make it to here. I don't know if I'm, I guess, mentally ready to make a permanent change, but it's definitely something I'd be interested in in the future. I don't know if I could ever be like fully vegan. Maybe I could get there in a couple years or try to be there. But like I said, it's especially hard with the way we eat and meat is very convenient. So it's hard to whip up like a healthy recipe. Right, right. It is. And um, like I said, we are a pretty carnivorous household. Um, You know, we grew up in the Midwest, so we're full on. um, I'm not necessarily meat and potatoes, but we're definitely a meat and vegetable family for sure. So, um, I mean, it's been interesting too to think about it's got me thinking what changes in how I eat as well with regards to, um, you know, just how much cheese plays a role in food and just the, all the animal products that we do depend on. And I think it's really good to be aware, um, of how much more plants that we need to be consuming. No. Yeah. Yeah. I get that because it's very easy to be like, Oh, I don't eat that much because for me, when I was first thinking about it, like you were saying, maybe try vegetarian, but I told you, well, I don't eat meat or eggs that much anyways, but um, definitely trying it out made me realize like things like cookies and ice cream actually <laughs> contain dairy and eggs. So that was <laughs> another thing that was difficult for me, but. Right. Yes. And even though chips can be vegan, it's not necessarily a healthy food source. So that's another struggle is oh, the salty chips. I know. So good. Um, talk to me about like, what are your favorite recipes that you've tried so far over the last couple of weeks? Um, I've definitely liked trying, um, there was a recipe I found on Pinterest. That's where I get most of my recipes. There was a sticky sesame chickpea recipe, which the only thing that drew me to it was the sticky sesame because I don't like basically anything. So even in the beginning, the thought of vegan made me want to, but, um, yeah, I really enjoyed that one that helped settle my Asian food cravings. I, um, enjoyed, a uh, stir fry recipe that was very good and everyone loved that one that Mm -hmm. one was easy and quick to make there's a smoothie recipe I enjoyed it was like a red velvet smoothie it was like a rich breakfast option and avocado toast that's been popular around here since she started making that as well is there another one or? Oh, I'm it? sure there is, but. Okay. Well, um, I will say the sticky sesame chickpeas were amazing. And I mean, I'm not vegan, but I actually look forward to the leftovers the next day. I thought it was great. Husband and son were not fans of the texture of the chickpeas, but they loved the flavor of the sauce. So um, anyway, that was a real home run there. And Emily is going to gather her top recipes that she's tried out and I'll be placing them on the Hot Mess Homeschooler blog. So you can check back there when those are posted. Um, 
Any other tips that you have for somebody um, of any age, really, who may be thinking about trying to go more plant-based? Um, I'd say definitely be more patient with yourself because it was easy in the beginning when I did have a cookie, like at a youth event or something like that, or I did have chicken or something like that to be like, oh, I failed. Why even bother anymore? So I kind of had to learn to like, just pick myself back up. And it's really only what matters going forward. And it may be a struggle at first, but I think most people will really like to see what happens to them as they continue to go forward. Right. And I think it, like I said, I really commend you for trying this because it's such a drastic change from how we were eating. And I think it's great. And I, and just what you're saying, I mean, every person makes choices and we get overwhelmed thinking like, oh my gosh, a whole month, but really you're making choices, one meal, one mouthful at a time. So even if you take that bite of cookie, you don't have to keep eating it. You're not condemned to just blah of a month is just ruined. You can make a different choice and do better the next time. So that's wonderful advice. Very profound. <laughs> All right, everyone, thank you for joining us. Um, please watch uh, the Hot Mess Homeschooler site where we'll be posting the recipes on the blog. Follow me on social media. And I look forward to connecting with you next time. Until then, be alive and well.